Rand Paul set to jump into the 2016 presidential race tomorrow in the wake of Senator Ted Cruz's announcement just last month. What, Repu what Republican contender could be the biggest threat to Democrats here to debate? The brothers. We got Brad Woodhouse, the president of American Bridge, uh, Hillary Fundraiser, and Dallas Woodhouse, the founder of Carolina Rising. Good morning to both of you. Good morning, sir. All right, uh, Dallas, let's start with you. Uh, which of the Republicans so far are worrying Democrats the most, do you think? <laughs> Well, I'll answer, that question. <laughs> I'll answer that question real quick, but I'll tell you that the candidate they ought to be most worried about is their own because Hillary has turned out to be stale, moldy, and unprepared. But I'll tell you the candidate they should be <laughs> She hasn't even gotten in the race yet, Dallas. Well, she's been in the race for 40 years. I mean, <laughs> the candidate they ought to be most worried about, I think, right now is Scott Walker because he has a compelling narrative. Jeb Bush is uh, raising a lot of money. I think those two candidates have raised themselves above the bar for everybody else. Ted Cruz got in. He yep. had a, a, a decent launch. Right. Uh, Rand Paul, um, I, I sort of agreed with, agree with Brian Kilmeade, what he was saying a few minutes ago, that, you know, that his sort of world view may not be fitting uh, the world as a lot of people see it right now. He's yep. got to prove, in my opinion, Rand Paul's got to prove that, that he will nuke a Muslim country if we have to. I'm not saying we should, but I'm saying that we will do that. I if it takes saving America, and that there's no doubt that okay. he will do what it takes to, pr to protect America. Brad. Go ahead, Brad. Mr. Hillary well, fund well, Fundraiser. Well, first, of, well first, first of all, Dallas, I can't believe what you just said about nuclear a Muslim country. I mean, that, you know, thank God you're not running. Uh, thank God you're not running for president. I mean, look. I'm not well, saying we ought to do I, it, but I, I want I somebody who will if it takes it. I, I, would, I, would, I would say this. I think that Rand Paul is announcing this week, and I actually think that Rand Paul and Ted Cruz have probably been the most underestimated in this field. Uh, Ted Cruz is absolutely the best public speaker the Republicans have running. He did have a really good launch. He zoomed up in the polls. Right. Uh, Rand, Rand Paul has got a, uh, has got a stick okay. that I think uh, applies in the Republican Party. Uh, a moment ago, uh, Dallas said they should be uh, worried about Jeb Bush and Scott Walker. How about the fact that Politico, uh, PolitiFact <laughs> went after uh, Scott Walker because he said he bought a sweater for a dollar with the Kohl's cash? They, like, that couldn't happen. My wife does that all the time. She comes home with stuff and says, look what I got with our Kohl's cash. Can you, Dallas, are they going to put uh, Hillary, for instance, up to the same scrutiny? Well, well, we hope so. Now, PolitiFact ought to know better. We, we've seen fact checkers ought to uh, check facts that can be proven. There's no way to prove that one way or the other unless you were with him in the store. Right. And then it doesn't matter to anybody anyway unless he were to have a pattern of exaggerating and uh, not telling the truth, which is not something we've seen. So we need to look at his record, and there should be a lot of scrutiny. We didn't have enough scrutiny on the last guy, the one that's in the White House uh, now. Right. And uh, and and, and so I want to see a lot now. of scrutiny, but I think scrutiny. Uh, you know, I get a lot of scrutiny from my okay. wife about my clothes, but that's as far as that ought to go. <laughs> All right, uh, Brad, I tell you what, I'm, because you didn't get to talk a second time, I'm going to send you $5 of my wife's cold cash, okay? $5. $5, <laughs> five cold cash dollars. Uh, Brad and Dallas, thank you guys for joining us live.